What's going on guys? Welcome back. Now today we're going to be going over the only single slug shotgun in the game and that is the Rack 9 Smoothbore which gives you the slug perk which as you can imagine it turns this shotgun into a single slug shot. So when it comes to these types of shotguns it does require you to have very very accurate aim. You need to have extremely good precision and a lot of skill. Now while I was recording these clips I would say it was probably like an even 50-50. Half of the time I was running around, I was melting the other team, getting these sick feeds, and then the other half of the time, the other 50%, it was like I didn't even have thumbs, I couldn't even aim, I was missing like four or five shots in a row, getting hit markers medium to short range, and it was just overall very frustrating. Now, my overall opinion of the Rack 9 smoothbore is that it's not really epic. It's not going to increase your KD, it's not going to get you a crazy amount of kills, you're not going to be the team leader for kills. But what it is, it's epic fun, I would say, if that makes sense. So it's extremely fun because there's something, there's like a certain amount of pleasure you get when you kill an enemy with a single slug shotgun. You know, you feel like a true marksman. It, you just seem like you're the best player in the world, and it's really fun. Again, it's not going to get you the top score. You're not going to get nukes. You're not going to go 30-0 and 0 with this gun, but it's really fun. So what I recommend when it comes to this gun, just try to get it in a supply drop. And Now, I know the RNG behind the supply drops, the epic gun rate is very, very low. It's only like 2%, not even. So, I mean, you got to keep on grinding. But I wouldn't really spend salvage on it unless you absolutely have like a hard-on for single slug shotguns. But if I was sitting in the Quartermaster with only 4,000 salvage, I would not choose this weapon. So keep that in mind. And one thing I really want to bring up, because this is a game changer. So when it comes to this weapon, it is very unforgiving, as you can tell. If you miss that first shot, chances are the enemy, if he's a good player, He's going to kill you before you can get that second slug off. So it's very unforgiving. And with Infinite Warfare, you may or may not have noticed we do get lag once in a while. And, you know, that's with any multiplayer online game. You are going to get some lag, but a lot of people have noticed it in this game. Me, not so much. I, I feel like I have a good connection 99% of the time. But, you know, some people, if you do have any lag, if you've experienced lag like every few games, that is going to completely ruin this gun. So if you missed that first shot, like I was just saying, because of lag, lag doesn't give a fuck. You are still going to miss that shot. You are still going to get killed. And that's just how it goes. There's nothing you can do about it. So you need to make sure you have a good connection if you actually want to use this gun. But other than that, that's going to be a wrap on this video. Now, I mean, this was an honest review. So I feel like the first half was me doing really good, like I said. And then the second half was just me getting destroyed. And there was even like two or three clips where I outplayed the enemy so well and they still got the kill on me. And that was probably the most frustrating thing in the world. Like even this clip right here, look how close I was. And to get a hit marker that close with a shotgun is very, very unfortunate. And it's just, it makes this really tough to like want to pick up. So again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you can understand where I'm coming from. This is, in my honest opinion, like this is probably like, this is not even in the top 10 of epics I would choose because there's always a few epics people want. Like, no matter what anyone else says, everybody plays different. So, no matter what anyone says, you know, they want their epics. They have it set in their mind they want those epics. So, people are going to choose those. And then there's going to be variants that going to help you get challenges along the way, like getting headshots and getting just good kill streaks. And then you have your fun epic. So, I would classify this as a fun epic. Again, it's not going to increase your KD. You're not going to do godly with it, but it is fun. And it's one of those guns you just want to throw on when you want to have a good time. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.